What's this? Oh, well, that's unrelated. Well, I know what that is, but like, what's up with that? I can explain. I was talking, I think last this week. This looks on like Land Willow Show. packaging. Does it? It does. I don't think it is. No, no, this is no. no I mean, it's are, it's common. Yeah, these are standard. These these plastic yeah, protective yeah. shells. I mean, it's for not it's not games. exclusive. I just yeah. Um, last week I think it was on Wan Show. I talked about how I would love to treat myself to a copy of Final Fantasy VI, which in North America was called Final Fantasy III for the Super Ooh. Nintendo. Uh, because I no longer have my childhood copy, although I do have my booklet. Uh, the actual game cartridge itself was lost when I moved from my dad's house to my mom's house, along with all of my other worldly possessions. And someone, anonymously, without providing a name or contact information or anything like that, sent me a copy oh, of Final whoa. Fantasy III. So I, I did not actually buy this this puts wow. my super nintendo collection up to a whopping two one console two controllers and super mario rpg and final fantasy 6 which are uh i never actually owned super mario rpg when i was a kid but this is one of the only i think four or five games that i owned for super nintendo because back then you would rent games yeah a lot of the time you'd find out they were <laughs> pretty crap actually <laughs> And then you would return them to the store having only invested $9, $8 or or whatever in them. So I think it would be fitting for me to open it on stream and have a look at, I mean, the condition, I guess. It seems like, based on the state of the outer box, it could be a complete in box. It's not like a mint condition or anything, like nothing too crazy, but... This is if it's if everything's in here, this is, is worth like three hundred bucks. It has been loved. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah, I mean that makes sense. It's a incredibly legendary game. Uh, Magitech has been reborn, and the end of the world is near. I remember as a kid thinking the design for Mog was so cool, and I thought this knife was like the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Oh, whoops, wrong one. There we go. Linus Cam. This like this knife going through as the as the tea and fantasy and like. Oh, oh, I loved it. Have you ever seen any of the like manual art or anything like that? For... No, nope. I never you had played this game. I, the The only Final Fantasy I had growing up was on PC. It was Final Fantasy VIII, <clears throat> the worst, one. and it was like a six disc set. Okay, it's not the worst one. I'm no. just being a hater. I but... liked it. I enjoyed it, but I didn't play the other ones, so I don't know. Oh wow, I don't know if this is complete. Complete. I don't know if to count as complete, it has to have like the little Nintendo, you know, slip oh, in there or right. anything like yeah. that. But it has the map. The map is always my favorite part. I lost this so early on when I was a kid because I just was always... So cool. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay, the map is not in perfect condition. <laughs> is it two different maps or nope. is it in half? Nope, the map came apart. Ah. Um, and I guess at this point, you're better off leaving it ripped than trying to tape it back together. I don't, I don't know. Probably. But I spent so long just looking at this and it's reading sides, the Because eh? you got to remember, when you're a kid, you're not allowed to play games all the time, right? Yeah. So when you're not allowed to play games, you just sit and like fantasize about playing your games, <laughs> planning playing your game. Yeah. So we got the World of Balance on one side, World of Ruin on the other side. World of Ruin really was, man, such a, such a weak point for this game, in my opinion. I, I feel like... On the one hand, it, what it was trying to do was really cool, being more open-ended and exploratory. But because there's a particular order that you really need to do things in order to not get your ass kicked, and there's not really a ton of, of, of guidance for that, I, uh, I just I felt like it was not a great uh, gaming experience. Instruction booklet. Oh, man, this takes me back. I do have mine but I haven't looked at it in a long time. Man, remember when instruction booklets were cool like this and just full of all this like concept art? Like you, Because you wouldn't know looking at the sprites that that's what Cels, Celes, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, there's no voice acting, right? Was supposed to look like. You, you wouldn't know that. You would only know that from looking at at concept art. And it's... it's like that's what Magitek Arma and Ter Armor and Terra is supposed to look like? Okay. Like it's, it's kind of cool because... Um... Yeah, sure, the graphics are so bad because they're like sprites or whatever. But your imagination runs because you've seen stuff like this, so you start imagining what other things look like. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It was it was more akin to reading, I I'd say. Yeah. Absolutely 
Love it. So thank you very much. So there, there's a people there's like an... OMG, stop touching it. I mean, guys, it's not a it's not a mint condition copy or anything like that. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm knocking too much off of its value right now. I'm and also, besides, isn't that kind of the point? I am also a, a very on the side of like you should you should use the thing, you know. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, no, leave it in the box forever. Never look at it. Never do anything with it. I'm like, what's the point of it then? Um, there's there's one that is in not, I would say, not as good condition with the same amount of completeness with eight offers on it right now on eBay for 500 Canadian. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm putting that back in the enclosure. There's certain parts of the box, like the corners on this one is are more worn. Mm -hmm. But then the other one has like dents that aren't on oh, the here, corners. Should I bring up your screen? Sure. There um, you go. This is one that I'm looking at. This is in the C stands for CAD. This is in Canadian. That one's also tested working. I don't know that this one is mm. working. I haven't tried it yet. Fair. But yeah, you can see like the. Even uh, if it's not working, it can be fixed. But I would imagine from a collector perspective, if you if you have to fix it, it's maybe worth less. I I don't know if you would even know if the soldering was done really well. But yeah, see, like along along the flat parts, this one has a little bit more damage, as far as I can tell. That one just has slightly more reward in corners. I don't know what is worth more or less. Yeah, I'm not an expert when it comes to this no. stuff. For me, it's it's not about uh, like it's not the sort of thing I I don't know. Maybe I eventually would have treated myself to one, but it's not the sort of thing that I I'm gonna you know build up a huge collection of of SNES games or anything like that. But it's still. I mean, it's the kind of thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my like display wall um, behind where I'm gonna be streaming at the new place. So I've got a bunch of mementos from a bunch of the stuff that I had in my attic, pretty much. Um, Nicholas Nicholas Callanan helped me kind of arrange stuff. He's got it. I've got the stuff I never knew what to do with. Now that I've got a bigger place and I've got somewhere to kind of display it, I've got the you know that Model M that everyone here yeah. like signed and and gifted me one year. Uh, so just so I've got like LMG mementos, I've got NCIX mementos, I've got more like just being a media personality mementos separately, and then I've got some viewer mementos as well. So this will definitely this will definitely go there. Five hundred K? No, not five hundred K. No, five hundred CAD, also known as Canadian dollar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not a bit rot issue, Inquisitor Toaster. It's more of a um, oh, what is it? The uh, the user, the user accessible parts. Anthony would be able to give you the full technical explanation of it, but the the user accessible parts where you save data to can become corrupted. So you have to. There's like a, an internal battery that uh, the maintains the problem. integrity of that data, yeah. and once that battery dies, like it's a matter of when, not if. Was this they a need to be replaced? A saved game, game, not like a password. Save game. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's possible that it needs some help. It's also possible that they, oh. Someone says there was a letter in the box. What? Oh. Oh. Uh, ALC 5440 on float plane apparently was the one who sent it and said there was a letter in the box. It was just not given to you? Hmm. Uh, they, no, Logistics specifically told me there was no letter. Oh. So, perhaps your letter was a digital and uh, perhaps you could le control C, control V. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Um, it was holding 3.2 volts when I tested it. Oh, okay. Apparently it is, uh, it is good to go. Hey, thank you, ALC5440. Cool. Appreciate That's awesome. you. That's awesome. All right. Um, yeah. So the letter, hopefully I get a chance to read it at some point. It's tested. It does work and apparently has saves. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, those saves are probably past where I ever made it to as a kid. I couldn't figure out how to beat the floating continent because I didn't know that you could cast magic from the overworld. So I would run out of oh. potions every time. <laughs> oh. So like healing, I'm assuming? Yeah. So you could heal between combats? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I did not know that you could do that because I was a child. <laughs> Thanks for watching and thanks to XSplit for sponsoring this week's clips. XSplit is perfect for content creators or businesses, and you can save 10% off with code Linus using the link in the video description.